Hi, I wanted to talk quickly about uh, mental health um, because there are three pillars of mental health that I think are um, can't be emphasised enough. Um, the fundamental that they're, they're actually something that I've used this week to help me get get through a, a difficult week, um, and I want everyone to know about them. So, by far the most important thing is that um, it is to regulate your physiology. So. We often think about anxiety and depression as things that come from events in your life, and they do partly, or thoughts in your life, and they do that as well. Um, so the things that happen to you are definitely a big component, but there are three things you can do that massively improve your resilience to those things, and that's what that's what I want to make a point about today. So the first one for me is sleep, um, and it's not always what you think. So. Um, these videos are, as anyone who watches them should know, is they're, they're really for my kids, Jasper and Xander. And um, you are going to inherit at least half of my genes, something like that, roughly. And, uh, and I have a weird tendency to get depressed if I have more than about 6 hours and 45 minutes of sleep. It wasn't always like that, so something that came as I get older, which is why I want this on record. Um, you may find yourself the same as me, which is if you sleep too much, you feel heavy, groggy, more more easily irritated, um, emotional. So one of the telltale signs for me is if I see one of these uh, moving videos that people create, little viral videos, it's like some elephant being rescued from a trench or something like that. Um, and the men pull him out and he's happy again and he meets his mother and I'm bawling my eyes out. That's not normal for me. Um, I should be more resilient than that. Um, so that's one of the signs that I, when I know maybe I'm sleeping too much. Um, I do think it's almost exactly about 6 hours and 45 minutes for me, but sleeping too much is definitely a potential risk for having a worse mental health. Um, likewise, of course, the other way around is also true, so sleeping too little is also a, is also a problem. Um, sign, or other signs that you're sleeping too much are that you wake up at 3 or 4 in the morning, you feel like you're, you're a bad sleeper and you can't sleep and you're thrashing and turning and eventually you drop off at 6 and then your alarm clock goes off. That doesn't happen to me anymore. I sleep all the way through, wake up when my alarm goes off, um, and because I sleep less. Sorry, camera clicked. Yeah, because I sleep less. Um, so next one is exercise. This is vital. It takes about three days for me before my um, before the exercise starts to actually pay off and I feel more resilient, but I need to basically exercise every day. So you boys will know you see me run every single morning already. Hopefully I'll, I'll do it our whole lives together. Um, but uh, but certainly that's what I've learned works well for me is to do about 20 minutes to half an hour of exercise every single morning no matter what uh, and it puts you in a much better frame of mind for the day um, but it does take about three days before I feel that stability carries carries forward um, so you've got to exercise um, every single day of your lives I think uh, at least aim for that and you'll be close to, closer to achieving it um, the next one is food. So food, uh, particularly in the mornings, you've got to have a good breakfast. If you don't, you'll find yourself also more irritable. If I run and then forget to have breakfast, I am a nightmare to be around. I'm very irritated. I can't think properly. Ask me to express myself and, uh, and I can't think of the words. I feel frustrated when I'm interrupted and all those sorts of things. So um, breakfast, very important. Um, so make sure you have a good solid breakfast, something with protein and fat in it. Um, I find m most helpful. I don't get on well with kind of carbohydrate cereals. You may be different. Um, at the moment, lots of things are, lots of people going against carbs in a big way, but the evidence is, is hard to pin down in terms of what's true. But I personally don't find carbs that great in the morning. Um, so eat, sleep, um, and exercise. Um, I think I've probably said all I wanted to do on that. Um, but yeah, don't... The, study yourselves learn about the patterns that as you see them um because everyone's different um think about also other things like alcohol and caffeine if you drink um it'll upset the quality of your sleep and it means that you won't be sleeping properly even if you're in bed for a long time you may compensate by sleeping too long i've no I've certainly done that in my life as well and then you wonder why you feel groggy three days later you you're trying your best to catch up sleep well it's because you've caught up and now you're just ruining yourself with too much sleep um so uh, think about that as well. Um, if you don't eat, even at, even later on in the day, it's it's also something that can tip you into feeling less creative and irritable. 
Um, but if you eat something very heavy in carbs, you get very tired and you can't think either. You get a, and a different kind of grogginess. So uh, it's difficult, but you've got to try and balance these things together. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get that on camera. Um, just in case you need it as you get older. Remember these things will change as you get older as well. There's no perfect formula. You have to keep revisiting it, but I hope that helps.